How to set up a SpyClops Pro in VR or XVR with the on-screen interface. When booting up the NVR for the first time, you will be greeted with the setup wizard. The first option is to set the system language. For now, we will leave it on English. Click the exit button, and then type in the default password of one, two, three, four, five. Press enter, and then log in. The system will ask you to change the default password at this time. Click the Modify button. Here we will type in the new password. Type in a new password with a minimum of eight characters, one capital letter, one lowercase letter, and one number. Fill out the security questions and answers. Once you have changed the password and filled out the security answers, plug in a USB thumbstick into the front of the unit. We will use this to export the key. Hit the export key button and then confirm. Click save and then press the X in the top right. The next step in the setup wizard will ask you to set the date and time. Change the time zone to your local time, change the date format to your liking and ensure that the date and time is set correctly. Click Next. After we click Next, we will be greeted with the network setup. For most systems, enabling DHCP is plenty. However, if you require a static IP address, you can set that here. Once you are done, click Next. This window allows you to view any connected hard drives and to format them. To format a hard drive, put a check mark next to it on the list. Then, click the Format button. Be aware, formatting will cause loss of data on the hard drive. Once you click Confirm, the system will begin to format the hard drive. After it has finished formatting the hard drive, it will reboot. After it reboots, you'll be greeted with the Setup Wizard again. Follow through the steps one more time, click Exit, then log in with the new password. Since we have already started the setup process, we will skip the next three screens. Click Next, Next again, and then finally next a third time. You will now be greeted with the Add Camera screen. If you are using SpyClops Pro cameras with a SpyClops Pro PoE and VR, those cameras will show up automatically. If adding a camera that's connected to a separate PoE switch or a separate power supply, click the search button to find the camera on the network. Once the search completes, it will find the cameras. Select the camera that you would like to modify. Then, click Change IP. Here, you can give the camera a different IP address than its default. Type in the IP address, then type in the username and password below. Click Confirm and Confirm again. The message on your screen does not apply to SpyClops cameras, but keep in mind the limitations of setting up DNS, HTTP, and RTSP information for non-SpyClops cameras through the NVR. For other brands, you may need to set these settings from the camera directly based on the camera's instructions for setup. We are setting up a SpyClops camera for this tutorial, so we'll click Confirm here to continue. The camera will now set a new IP address, put a check mark next to the camera, and click Add. If using a PoE in VR, the first four, eight, or 16 channels, depending on the system, are dedicated to the PoE ports. If you are adding a camera through a PoE switch or its own power supply, and you would like it to be on one of those dedicated channels, click on Manual Add, select the channel that you would like the camera to be on, change the method to plug and play, enable the channel, type in the username and password, IP address, and port for the camera. Then click Save and Confirm. Once you have added the camera, click Next. The Setup Wizard gives you one more opportunity to change the password. We have already done this, so if you need to change the password again, follow the prompts from before. Otherwise, click Finish. To set the recording schedule, right-click on the screen and go to Storage. The first option should be Record. From here, select the channel that you would like to edit. 
Then select the day or all and the recording type. Then simply click and drag or point and click. To remove a schedule, simply click that recording type and click the time that you would like to remove. The system allows for specific types of recordings per day. The More Settings button gives you the pre-record time and the post-record time. Pre-record time is the time that will be recorded before an event happens, and post-record time is the time that the system will record after the event stops. The Edit button gives you more finite controls over the schedule. Each day has a total of six possible schedules that can be set down to the minute. You can set this schedule for every day of the week, and you can apply that to other cameras. Click the Copy button to copy the schedule to the other channels. Finally, once the schedule has been set, click the Apply button. For more information, visit us at MetroHomeTheater.com.